Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is going to be part one for closed loop idle tuning. Uh, today, I'm actually just going to run through. We're going to get the car hot. Uh, and we're going to go through the tests necessary to get the information to set up closed loop and just get the idle set correctly in general. We're going to uh, do a sweep of the idle air control valve and then we're going to lock the valve in a set position that gets us uh, the RPM that we desire, probably around 1100 and then we're going to sweep the timing. Now for both of these tests the other factor has to be static. So while we're sweeping the idle control valve the timing needs to be locked and when we're sweeping the timing the idle control valve needs to be locked so it doesn't move. That way we take the other variable out. Something else to consider is we also need the car full warm with any loads that are going to be uh, not, we need them non-changing so if we got electric cooling fans they need to be uh, turned on the whole time. Uh, this way you don't have loads uh, affecting your data. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright so let's go for the start. Now keep in mind, this car is already fully tuned. I actually can drive this car on a daily basis if I'd like. But we're going to use it as the test mule and run through the steps necessary to do this. And for purposes of data logging and running through the test, I'm actually going to use the DDEFI digital dash interface here. It runs full copy of Megalog Viewer HD and Tuner Studio Ultra. So I'll let this thing get warmed up and we'll be right back. Okay, now that the car is fully warmed up, I've already gone through and taken it off of closed loop idle. So here you can see in under idle control, we're in open loop or warm up mode. So the valve's at a set position, and under ignition settings, we're at locked timing. So the timing's locked at 16 degrees. Right now, the idle valve is uh, reading 30 degrees. We're going to do it in 10 degree steps. And we're going to give it a few Mississippis. I've gone 
on in here and the timing is still fixed, 16 degrees. And we're gonna start with a sweep from about eight degrees all the way up through 25 degrees. Change timing to eight. We'll do about a two Mississippi count. I'm sorry, six Mississippi count and we're gonna go uh, in two degree increments all the way up to about 24 or 26. information and we're going to look at it in data log form this way we can uh, write everything down and then that'll be the part two video and then I already have the part three and part four videos um, and those were made using a customer's information that they got for me uh, so I could set up the closed loop idle I do a lot of remote tuning so that's uh, the easiest ways through data log for that type of information. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and don't want to miss future videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button at the bottom. If you need help with your next MagnaSquirt project and you'd like tuning services or tuning classes, you can reach me at a91what at gmail.com.